Hello and welcome to this learning video. As I said in the last learning video that in this learning video we are going to start with the examples on convolution method. So without wasting much of time let us start with this example. So this example says by using convolution theorem find z inverse of z square upon z minus a into z minus b. So as this question is of convolution theorem you must know what is convolution theorem. So, just recollecting the theorem that we have discussed. So, what is it? If Z transform of, sorry, is Z inverse transform of F of Z is F of N or Fn and Z inverse of G of Z is equal to G of N or G N, then, then, z inverse of their product f of z into g of z is equal to what is it fn convolution gn or this is also same as summation n is equal to sorry m is equal to 0 to n fm into g n minus n okay so this is the result that we have and uh, we have to make us uh, get the inverse z transform of this with the help of this convolution okay so as you can see here to get the z inverse of what we want product so we first of all write this as in terms of product and from that we'll take one to be f of z and other to be g of z okay and we'll follow the working rule for this so just think of it So to find to find z inverse of z square upon z minus a into z minus b which is same as z inverse of z upon z minus a into z upon z minus b. Okay. Now we can take one function to be f of z and second one to be g of z. Okay, so that is the first step that we have under the working rule for this method. So let f of z is equal to what is it? Say one function z upon z minus a and and g of z say to be z upon z minus b is it okay up to this this complete step number one step number two says take inverse z transform of these okay so z inverse of f of z which is equal to z inverse of z upon z minus a so you must know the elementary z transform in order to write down the elementary uh, in order to write down z inverse of this as i stated earlier also you must know elementary z transform so this is nothing but z inverse of this is same as this is z inverse of a to the power n okay likewise you can find out z inverse of g of z z inverse of g of z is same as z inverse of z upon z minus b which is b of n clear now let us denote this to be by f of n and this is to be by g of n step number two over now step number three says apply the method of apply the convolution theorem so what is convolution theorem if you have time you should write by the convolution theorem by the convolution theorem we have so what we have we have z inverse of what is it f of z into g of z is equal to what is it 
summation m equal to 0 to n f of n into g of n minus n. Okay? That is z inverse of what is my f of z? z upon z minus a and this is z upon z minus b is equal to summation m is equal to 0 to n. What is my f of m? I have f of n as a to the power n. So what is f of m? It should be a to the power m. Clear? And then we have likewise this you can write. If g of n is b to the power n, then what is g of n minus 1? b to the power n minus m. Okay? b to the power n minus m. Is it okay up to this? Now, you can apply here law of indices. Okay? So, this would be b to the power n minus m. Right? So, let me write it here. Summation m is equal to 0 to n a to the power m into b to the power n into b to the power minus n. I can write like this. Okay. Now what I can do is as you can see the summation runs over this m. Okay. So n being constant I can take it outside of this summation because the summation runs over m. So I can take the term of n outside. Okay, so let me uh, do it here. So, z inverse of this z into z, z square upon z minus a into z minus b is equal to what is it i can take b to the power n outside right remain with summation m is equal to 0 to n a to the power m and this is b to the power minus m so i can take it to the new, uh, denominator and will write it as b to the power m okay or in other words, I will write it as a by b whole power m. Okay, b to the power n outside, a by b whole power m, right? Now, solving this, I can write b to the power n. Now, apply the summation over here. So, put m is equal to 0. So, anything power 0 is 1. Then, put n is equal, m is equal to 1. This is a by b. Put m is equal to 2 a by b square plus n so on what would be the last term a by b whole power m okay is it okay power n because m vary from 0 to n now i am going to make use of one result from the series expansion using using 1 plus r plus r square plus and so on plus r to the power n is same as r to the power n plus 1 minus 1 upon r minus 1. So if you can see this uh, node that I am using here is nothing but a geometric series with constant term 1, first term constant and rest of the, in the rest of the terms we have common ratio as R, right? So, this is the result that I am going to make use of. This is a geometric series with first term 1 and the common ratio R. Now, you compare this with this result. So what you can see, you can see that instead of R we have A by B. So apply the result with this. Okay. So this can be written as Z inverse of Z square upon 
z minus a into z minus b is equal to what is it b to the power n into now applying this result to this i will be getting a by b power n plus 1 minus 1 upon a by b minus 1 now you have to solve this okay so we'll just take the lcm of this so this is b to the power n into what is it a to the power n plus 1 minus b to the power n plus 1 upon b to the power n plus 1 now taking lcm of this and taking the reciprocal so this will gives you uh, b upon a minus b okay now some term will get cancelled with this so this one get cancelled with this and this b n get cancelled with this okay so what we remain with we remain with uh, a to the power n plus 1 minus b to the power n plus 1 upon a minus b and that is the required z inverse of z square upon z minus a into z minus b simple now the way we have solved this example you may have number of examples by just changing the values of a and b this is a very general example i have taken now suppose the example would be like let me write it as a try this problem that you have to do it so it should be like uh, say find out z inverse of z square upon z minus 1 into z minus 3 something like this it may be like plus 1 minus 3 it may be like minus 1 plus 3 and then we can have number of uh, variety on this you can just take any value of a any value of b so just it is like one get one and buy one get many free so this all this is the type of example that we have taken over here so i hope the problem that we have taken here is clear to you for any queries or doubt uh, you can contact and uh, this is what we have for the time being and in the very next learning video we'll take a problem where both the statement of uh, convolution theorem will be utilized because here we have applied the summation one and uh, in the next problem we'll take a problem where you have to apply not just this but also this not just the summation but also this result okay so stay tuned and uh, we'll see in the very next learning video thank you